I'll select my image that I scanned at 200 dpi up to trace bitmap, outline, trace and clip art. Clip art is the appropriate setting for this one and I might just apply some smoothing and you watch the beak smooth up a little. Also I want to remove the white background so click remove background or you could choose the eyedropper tool and pick your own background. To the colors tab straight down to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to select this pale yellow and I'm going to click edit and choose an alternate color. I'll swap it with this red click OK and now the, the red takes the place of the other color. Click OK over to my drop shadow tool click and drag and that's not bad for a quick trace. Our next image is a scanned black silhouette up to trace bitmap, outline trace and this time line art. Automatically it will scan around the outside and the inside of those white areas there. Make sure remove background is selected, click OK and all I'm going to do is remove the color by left clicking and then right click on the color black to color our outlines to a black color. Our next image, similarly a 200 dpi scan up to trace bitmap, outline trace and again this time we'll also choose line art, it is the best option. If for example we were to change this and we went to a high quality image you'll find that the outcome is still not as good as working with line art. So we'll choose line art and also you'll notice we've still got some white background there so we'll choose remove color from entire image and you'll notice all of the white areas will disappear. Click OK. If you are wanting more of that technical looking drawing similarly as before left click to remove the color and right click so you can only see an outline. This image here is a scan of a technical drawing for a trailer. Now if I come up to trace bitmap and outline trace and again we choose line art we'll see ultimately this is the wrong choice to actually make. Just wait for that to scan. Now as you can see it's missed quite a few of the lines and the outcome is just not the right outcome. In this particular scenario we really do want to work with center line and technical illustration. So as you can see it produces a tremendous outcome. Please notice that line drawing would not be the right choice but rather you need to go with technical illustration. Click OK and now we can actually work with that and expand upon that illustration. Our next image will be slightly harder to trace. The light blue pen on a light grey background will make it difficult. So up to bitmaps and contour and find edges will provide us with a good solution. Solid 25% click OK. That's helped define the outline. So up to trace bitmap, outline trace and line art. Because this image was scanned at full color, we may end up with a few different colors. And as you can see, black, blue, and white. Well, the background was white. And so if we simply choose remove color from entire image, we can get rid of that white as well. Then to the colors tab and simply combine these two colors together. Merge. If we want to change the color, edit and simply select black. Click OK and we're done. Now we have a full vectorized signature. We're going to use this last image so I can demonstrate to you how you can create from a high quality full color scan and trace a single color print. We'll just zoom in a little and I want to remove this black color from the entire image. Although we can't see that we will shortly. I'm going to increase the smoothing on both of our options just over halfway, over to colors and we're going to change the palette to Pantone solid coated. As soon as that calculates we're going to lower the number of colors and I'm going to pull the number of colors down to about 8 because it's from here we have to make some very good decisions that will determine our outcome. Well what I like to do is start to delete colors. I don't believe I need that pink highlight so I'm going to delete the color and you'll find that it will be replaced by the color underneath. And from here we need to make some clever decisions. I'm going to select the two gold and merge them together. 
And I think we'll also select the two browns and merge those together. And right now, if we select the two remaining goldy browns and merge those together, and then what I'm going to do is come up to Edit and change that goldy brown to a white color. But of course, white means that no ink will actually be printed. Now that doesn't look too bad. If I select this last brown, I think we can actually remove it. Now don't forget we're actually removing this entire black using this setting here. So if I now click OK, we've turned that multicolored image into a one color print for screen printing or for a special purpose. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you in the next one.